things that happen don't come out there. It's just that they haven't happened in such an extraordinarily short period of time. So the adaptation of capacity of what the floor is and then what they can do. And I wear it in such a and trust. basically being that stick where the truth of the period that they started with the Industrial Revolution 250 years ago. So when they say the temperature has increased by and it has increased, that is, let's say, one set of point eight degrees Celsius. So very industrial of around 50.2 degrees That's within the 200 period. So we think that the person is sort of recognizing that on top of that, we have already got them another 1.7 degrees Celsius. Because of the combined effect of emissions of the atmosphere affecting the temperature. So we're up, we will be up around 7. for a quarter of a second. The scientists began theorizing about it in the 19th century. The first official international scientific expression of concern was 1985. The first UN 1960 report, the official, first official report on climate change, 1990 on the basis of which the international community gathered the Rio and the summit 1993. I was the fourth. I witnessed what was going on. Bush, we go on. 120 heads of government. 
Thank you.
This is not fantastic news for an election. And if we do get an immigration in 2015, we won't come into effect before 2020. We won't even begin as a global community of 195 countries with binding commitments, sorry, voluntary conditions. We won't begin until 2020. So there are our missions. Basically, there are four scenarios. One of those 
worst case scenario is because we can do the bridge. The others are not. One is, uh, there's, uh, two points, um, there's, uh, three points, actually. The other is, is, um, three and a half, and the other is four points, actually. So, for me, there's a range. So, the top one, which is business as usual, would be anything from four to five, the bridge is only four. So, the World Bank and the International Energy Agency are saying anything about three, seven, three and a half, 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 three and a half. So, we have got quite a big challenge on our hands. What is New Zealand doing about this? Our record among those OECD countries since 1990 is arguably the worst. Um, Turkey is worse, but Turkey did not bet on a rather having an obligation to count. We have. It is true when governments of this society that we are missing out having one target, which was level peaking of 1990. In other words, our 99 emissions times for life, 2008, or 60 million tons equals 360.9 equals 310 million tons for that time period. With forestry factored in to sequester carbon as well. So gross emissions minus your forestry absorption is your net emissions. We are going to meet that, that which is what Canada couldn't do in that period. We're going to meet that. And that's all we have to do. Our gross emissions have gone up 22%. Our net emissions have actually gone up net to net, not to gross to net. Counting the chicane of that in the atmosphere and the 20 year period. Because we chose on the Europeans chose to bring in a market approach, now we're proposing a market approach to bring down emissions as opposed to a fiscal approach in the form of a carbon tax. It's a market approach in the form of pricing. Units. If we're capping targets, caps, um, units that you give out and receive back um, through the market mechanism for excess emissions, the emissions trading scheme, and you can trade in those units, and they do. Because we chose to go down that route, the Labour government brought in the New Zealand emissions trading scheme. Months before we voted on it. With a view to, and it has various policy settings, and you can dial up the dog to make them tight and strong and get a big one on the market, or you can weaken them. The way to put them in, how to break into them, explicit judgment as to what uh, body politic is in the 2008 with a With a view to dialing them up, stopping them up, every election would come up in 2015, et cetera. The present government. Inherited it two months after it had passed, and later on, they can consider it. They then set about to demolish it, or at least to, get to weaken it. Two legislative amendments, 2009 2012, result no agriculture. Result a one for two and surrender obligation. And an insistence on making it global, the lawyers that the global economy undermine the OECD input. How's that? That doesn't follow. Our emissions, suppose our emissions. Gross emissions are 76 million a year. So you can say you've got 49 million tons for the world, and ours are about 76 million. So you would think to the market, you've got to get uh, use the market to make an NZ news as the currency of modified carbon. You'd think that the demand would be 76 million in NZ news. To buy and then you have to buy at a price if you have and then surrender them to the government. So this is funny. If you don't bring in agriculture out of it, it's easy to say if it's in agriculture. If you don't bring in agriculture, well, you just have to buy it through that in So you think about transport, energy, industry, and waste. 36 million tons, 36 million units. Not if you make this 
Thank you. 